If you think you've got a leak on your multi-port valve, it's quite often the spider gasket that's worn out. Sometimes you can see this on the sight glass on the side, you would see it leaking to waste. The first thing to do to check the multi-port valve is to make sure that the pump is switched off. The next thing to do is to move the handle on the top of the multi-port valve to a mid position between any of the two points. Once you've done this and you're happy that the pump is switched off, you then remove all the screws around the outside. Take a note of their length because on this particular one there is a shorter screw. So we'll just remove the screws. When you have all the screws removed, you can remove the top handle and the key stem assembly from the valve. It's worth just inspecting the underside and particularly the O-ring around the outside to make sure there's no damage to that or the O-ring. Once you're happy with that, you can put it to one side and remove the old spider gasket from the base. And you can see we've taken this one out and you have to make sure that the channels are perfectly clean and tidy before you put the new spider gasket in. It's then just a matter of getting the new spider gasket and some super glue which you apply to the bottom of the spokes evenly, inserting the spider gasket into the bottom part of the multi-port valve and then reassembling it in the opposite way to which we took it apart. And on this one there are a couple location points. So when you put the top on, you'll hear it locate to the correct position. Once it's in the correct position, we then reinsert all the screws, taking note of the, on say on this valve, the particular one which is a shorter length. Once you've fully tightened all the screws, put the handle back to the correct position, restart the pump and just check for any leaks. That is how to change the spider gasket in a multi-port valve. If you have any further queries or questions on this, please contact us in the usual way.